What's up guys, welcome back once again, it is Jackie Boy here, back with yet another, well I guess, I was about to say, yet another part of our Digimon Next Order Let's Play, but this is of course the first bonus episode, so yeah, I should start things off by disclosing that. Our finale was last night and I had a blast, but anyways, we've, we've pretty much covered all that in a lot of detail yesterday. I'm just going to dive right into today's um, adventures and all the stuff that we're going to get up to today. We'll talk about it on the way. I'll get to it in a minute. You know the drill at this point. Here we go. Alright guys, so of course we're kicking things off as always here in Digimon's house. It's a little busy. Uh, there's a lot of feathers for some fucking, yeah, I don't know, not intentional, but you know, we've got so many feathery Digimon right now, but let's have a look at our, our Digimail, because that's going to give us a clue as to what it is we're going to be getting up to today. Obviously, at the end of our finale yesterday, I was kind of clicking through it a little bit too quickly, but Shoma approached us about two or three times after all of the buzz, after all of the in-game stuff. Shoma approached us with uh, news that a, a new threat was facing the digital world, so that is how we're going to be kicking things off today. We're going to be pursuing this. Looks like Shoma's here is telling us to go to Infinite Cauldron, so that is what we're going to do. Now, for the most part, there is a lot of other things we need to be doing in the city, for example. Um, for example, there's a lot of things that we need to check on based on everything that happened okay. yesterday, so or in the, the last episode. So, there was a few Digimon that joined the city, a bunch of big, strong Digimon. Uh, I'm just feeding the guys random meat here because I'm not really thinking about that too much. We'll sort out all of our items and inventory stuff in a little bit, but first... Yeah, so there was a lot of um, extra Digimon have joined the city and whatnot. We're going to get to see all those guys later on, but I think for now, we're just going to dive straight back into Infinite Cauldron and keep this kind of keep this going. And we'll talk about all the jazz on the way, as we always do. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the finale yesterday. Uh, it, was a, it was really good fun. We obviously used... For those guys that were there for the live finale, we used uh, YouTube's new Premiere function, which has only just become available to me as a content creator a small YouTube content creator in Scotland that only became use uh, available to me like two days ago like literally a day before the finale was ready so I thought you know what? why not let's give it a go and uh, and from my point of view it was a big success you guys were uh, absolutely hilarious so thank you to everybody who stopped by and even if you didn't manage to catch us live we'll probably be doing something like that again in the future so don't worry about it too much if you wanted to take part and uh, yeah as long as you saw the finale or saw the last few episodes then that's all good now, we're just, for the most part, we're just going to be rocketing through this joint because honestly, we spent a lot of time here yesterday and yeah, I, I don't really want to spend too much time here. But obviously, there are big Digimons or big Digimon that are going to start appearing here because now that we have defeated our final boss in Shoma, there are new spawns that are procced because of that, okay? And we're going to be taking a look at a lot of those guys in our, our post-game episodes, our bonus episodes and all this extra stuff that we've got to do now that the main story is complete. So here we go. Looks like this big guy is now uh, attended here. This is obviously Terriermon's Mega Digivolution, I believe. I remember playing this guy, playing as this guy in Digimon Rumble Arena back in the, the days of the PS1. You could spam his rocket ability for like non-stop. I don't know if any of you guys played that shit, but anyways. He can't talk to us right now. Looks like our prosperity isn't high enough, and for the most part, he's not going to engage. There's not anybody else in here that we need to be worrying about, so we're just going to push on. I do need to, <laughs> what I should say is that this is, this safe point that we're continuing on and picking up our bonus, our first bonus episode, is taken directly, almost directly, from the point that we left off our finale. So we finished in Digimon's house, the only thing that I did different, or the only extra stuff that I did, is I took a quick trip to the shop and bought six extra uh, super recoveries, which isn't that many. I could have obviously picked up a lot more than that, just to be safe. But at the same time, I thought, um, you know, I don't want to kind of overdo it. Well, once we get through the Infinite Cauldron and we meet Shoma and we find out what it is we're going to be doing with him on his little mini quest, we will take a big trip back to the shop. I'll uh, obviously let you guys see that trip. And we'll sort out all of our items and all that jazz because we do need to uh, kind of top up in that shit. In the meantime, we're going to quickly kill Metal Mammymon here. 
trying to feed him as quickly as possible so that we can get through here. I didn't honestly, yeah, I, I really didn't want to bang into this guy, but you know. Little dude wanted to make his presence known, that's fine. We will end up probably banging into a couple of these stray fights here in Infinite Cauldron, and I'm going to try and avoid them as much as I can, but you guys know me at this point. I, I tend to, like, you know, I'll end up losing my concentration span by talking to you guys about some random part of the game, and then, you know, they always catch us. Now, luckily here, McGruff's big feathery ass should act as quite a good defense line, and we should be able to negate all these guys. I could have just... Um, said that I was going to meet you folks at Shoma in here because obviously he is a little bit deep into the cauldron I mean what are we on? Don't catch me please We are pretty deep at this point into the cauldron but uh, Shoma's, Shoma's further in and I could have decided to meet you guys there but I thought I'm not really sure who else is now appearing because it has been quite some time since I got to this part of the game so I didn't want to run past new, new Digimon that are kind of exciting and have started appearing and not let you guys see that for the first time because honestly, he's kind of deserved that at this point. So yeah, we're just going to scamper through as quickly as possible. I'm going to try and push through this. We have so many new abilities that we uh, that we have available. Obviously, we came straight from the training montage at the start of the last episode, the start of our finale, um, where new moves were picked up during the montage, and then obviously in the finale, in the run up to the final boss, we picked up some extra moves. So. Our attack table is looking pretty beefy. There are probably better ways that I could format these guys, you know, build a better set of abilities that that work a bit more effectively. Because honestly, a lot of you guys were talking about it in the comments, and uh, I quite ag agree. There's a lot of um, powerful freeze moves that we have equipped to our guys right now, like Aurora Freeze and things like that. Or if it's not Aurora Freeze, I think it's like one of the Glacier abilities. They're very powerful and they have really nice debuffs, but a lot of the ice moves are kind of slow. Again, a couple of you guys were talking about that, and I noticed it, and I, I tend to agree. So we might end up reshuffling the moves, but for the most part, we're just gonna um, we're just gonna dive through. I don't think there's anything else in here. So this is where I think. Sh oh no, I'm speaking too soon. Shoma must be in the next area. Now, one thing we could actually do here is uh, I know you guys won't be thrilled about it, but I do want to purposefully uh, bang into Platinum Numemon here, and the reason for that is because Platinum Numemon. Uh, on top of the fact that she obviously gives us fantastic, fantastic stats and pretty good team rec speed as well, she also gives us um, the item Super Recoveries or Super Regen Discs. Basically the revive items that we can't acquire yet inside the town. Or as far as I'm aware we can't acquire them. I've not seen them in any of the stores or the hospital or anything like that. The item itself, we picked up a couple yesterday in the finale and they were immensely helpful and I just thought, you know what, hopefully we're, we're strong enough that we're not going to be getting knocked out left and right that is not in my plan at all um to be honest but i thought mm, this is kind of frustrating this happens this tends to happen in the final dungeon a lot sorry to interrupt my train of thought here but i have found myself using remedies uh, a lot more often because a lot of these end game guys have these debuffs but anyways we're here to pick up the the super regen disc just on the off chance that we need it later on and uh, yeah any money or finances that we pick up from this guy will obviously be a bonus as well. So let's find out how much Platinum Number 1 gives us. We have no Tactician USBs of course with us at this point in time, but there is the Super Regen Disc, perfect. We got a bunch of stats as well, and he actually doesn't give us that that great uh, that great money. So yeah, it is what it is. There will be another Platinum Number 1 that we will engage with. I think it's a Platinum Number 1 at some point probably in this episode so I'm kind of looking forward to that I'm going to try and slot that in if I can you guys will see exactly what I mean later on so I don't mean to bait you but I'm pretty sure it is around about this area yeah on the mini map here we have we have got this big yellow exclamation point that is obviously an indicator I think that Shoma's up here I might end up moving my webcam about a bit as we go through this kind of mission but for now I'll leave it with it is, guys and if we go into any big battles in a second or in the future I'll move it about down to the bottom as always so here we go. Looks like this is exactly who Shoma was looking for. Now, honestly, we haven't had a lot of interaction with Shoma yet um, t that much, to be honest. We met him in Borne Resort. There was little traces of him throughout the series, and then obviously we met the most of him in, uh, in the finale. But now he is obviously a good guy. So there has been a bit of a character jump here. We're now teaming up with the dude, and it looks like we're here to chase this uh, Keramon, I believe. Little guy looks mischievous anyway. I don't think we're going to be fighting a Keramon though, or because he is a rookie Digimon and therefore, yeah, he is going to go ahead and Digivolve on us. Now, as I said, this questline is a bit foggy in my memory, so if I get some of these Digimon's names wrong, yeah, Chrysalamon, I did think I know that one. 
uh, you guys will have to forgive me. But here he is now. I believe this is champion form. It digivolved. It's stronger than before. It's come and get ready. So, this is going to become a theme. We're going to see this Digimon a couple of times throughout Infinite Cauldron and then beyond into a new area of the game that we're going to uh, have a look at that you guys have never seen if you haven't played the game through it yourselves. So here we go. Unfortunately for this little guy, despite the fact he's level 40, he is going to put up zero problems for us right now. I kind of imagine in my mind that this particular fight is to be taken in stages. So let's say um, players are playing through this game, they weren't as strong as we were in the finale. I mean, look at, I mean, if we have a quick peek at all of our stats here, we're up at 5k, McDuff and McRuff, they are super strong. If players weren't as strong as we are now, then I guess they could come and do this little this little quest line in different parts. So they could fight Chris Alamon here, maybe struggle against them, and then, you know, fight him later on, which is, as we're seeing right now on screen, that is obviously going to be a, a, a thing. It's going to be a theme here. Now, we kill, we beat this guy in his champion form and we get the victory music for a split second, but then obviously we're not done here. That's not the, uh, the end of the road. From what I could tell watching it fight, it didn't seem to be that strong. It wasn't bad as I thought. Yeah, we weren't that tough, or it wasn't that tough. We didn't expect... Uh, we expected more of a challenge. It's still not showing off its full power. I think it's just a question of before that happens. I think it wants to digivolve again. We better find it, and fast. Awesome. So obviously, with that in... Uh, with all that in order, I guess we get a Digimail. Let's see what's showing it. Keep going. He's run in further than we thought. We can't lose him now. So this is quite good because honestly, the this gives us an opportunity to re-explore Infinite Cauldron after we've defeated our main story. So there will be a couple of uh, extra guys kicking about, I think. I'm not sure if there's any we can fight at this current time, although based on what happened in the finale yesterday i won't spoil too much if you guys still need to go back and see that but for the most part i think we can establish that everybody here saw that shit or has caught up at by this point if you're watching now there was a phoenix mon in the uh in the final area that we never fought against so i'm pretty sure this guy is going to be here not sure if there's anybody else but what you will find is that once we clear out this quest line that we're doing right now, this area will actually fill up with brand new Digimon, and those guys are really exciting. I mean, here we've got a Meteormon, a Datamon, and a, a Water Siegemon, I think. Yeah. These guys are obviously pretty cool, right? There's some respectful, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm calling you respectful, mate. That doesn't mean that you... Yeah, that's what I thought. That doesn't mean you get to fucking just chase us about. Silly goose. But obviously there will be big, big, substantial Digimon filling these parts after we do this quest. So you've got that to look forward to. Um, and we have that to look forward to. But anyways, here's Phoenixmon or Huonmon or whatever it is that you call this guy. We're going to talk to this chip chatter because yesterday we didn't tangle with this dude. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to do it now. Oh, human child. Somehow I have appeared in this world. So Phoenixmon's feeling a bit lost. I'm Phoenixmon. I raise the evil of the world with holy power and protect this proper, beautiful digital world. Well, that's something I can get behind. That's pretty respectable, I. Right? Plus, we have a Phoenixmon, so you guys should be uh, best buddies. I mean, if you want to join the team, and we can have a nice little foursome. Five, a five-some if you count the YouTube. This is getting weird. From what I can tell, the appearance of you humans upset the balance of this world. Wait a minute. That sounds a bit accusational. If, uh, if I'm understanding this correctly. In other words, as long as you humans are in this world, we will not be able to rid the world of evil. Uh, all right, mate. That's a bit of a linear train of thought, but obviously we are going to get our boss fight and we're going to be able to tangle with this guy in order to prove ourselves. Now, Phoenixmon, Mega Digimon, obviously, you guys know that by now, and he is also level 50, so this guy's pretty, pretty fucking strong. So we're not going to take this lightly. One thing I was talking about a lot yesterday, and one thing I really hope that happens again, is that uh, our Digimon buff each other a bit more with the defensive move. So, for example, Seraphmon and, Seraphmon and Phoenixmon here, they both have their speed buffs on right now, but I would love... I don't know which one it is. I couldn't get, a hang of, I couldn't get the hang of this yesterday. But one of these guys has a, a defense buff in move as well. I think it's actually Seraphmon. One of his holy moves, perhaps? I'm not sure. I would love it if he would use that a little bit more often. Now, obviously, we could manually do that, but at the same time, I'm going to be in and out inventories and menus enough as it is. There we go. We do actually finally get that. Um, we finally do get the, the defense buff off, which is quite good. Got this guy down to half, but here we go. Phoenix Mon's going to just drop his ult on us like, like an absolute badass. Starlight Explosion is probably going to hurt. Luckily, we do have our defensive ability up. And we are just about to crack our ultimate. So what I would love right now, uh, as we get pushed uh, kind of a little bit close to the wire, if I'm being completely honest, I would love to get our uh, our 
attack buff off. Doesn't somebody have an attack? No, I'm not, I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking about. I was going to say, one of our guys has an attack buffing ability, but I think we don't... Oh wait, it's there. I, I don't understand. We've got to activate it anyway. I was thinking about when we go into our EXE fusion, that we have Burning Heart available to us, but we also have uh, some sort of uh, offensive buffing ability as part of our kit. Phoenix Mon's going to ult us again. This is not our Phoenix Mon, so uh, yeah. I'm kind of glad that we didn't fight this guy yesterday. He is going to knock out our Phoenix Mon to the ground, which is uh, pretty chronic in all honesty. So we're going to have to regen her. Luckily, we do have a revive exactly for this moment in time, so we're going to go ahead and use that. And hopefully with a bit more luck, we will be able to actually put this guy away. I'm going to use our large double disc as well and top Phoenix Mon up a little bit. McGruff, get him in a bit of a, a comfier spot. And hopefully we can drop a Magma Bomb or two on this guy. Before he ults us again, I really don't want to be... Yeah, there's a Flamestorm. If we could avoid those, that would be absolutely... I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to take any more pain than we have to. Obviously, we do have our big, our big uh, important fight waiting ahead of us. And so I want to be kind of prepared for that. Obviously, our healing items are a little bit... Wearing a little bit thin, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of nervous about this, but hopefully it's not something that I'll regret not packing enough when we get there. But anyways, oh child, you certainly appear to be a force of good. The true nature of many of man may be good, just as I am, okay? Uh, but in time, that good may be steeped in vice. Steeped in vice, sorry. Still, you are free from such corruption. As long as you continue to be a force of good, there may be a single ray of hope that eliminates evil from the world. All right, cool. And just like that, we get the big birdie. We get Big Bird to join the city, which is... Uh, obviously super super cool now when we left off yesterday i think our prosperity was 123 so phoenix mon should take that up a notch i'm not exactly sure i think it was 123 she's gonna take it up a little bit but here we are core zero zero i'm gonna walk up here i think that these guys are actually gonna need to go to sleep after midnight which would actually be pretty useful to us because then we get the full revive obviously running up this step and these up these the staircase here is going to regen us a little bit anyway, but if we could get the full revive out then that would obviously be kind of welcome. I don't know if we need it though. If we do go to sleep then that would obviously give us the option to EXE, but honestly I don't think we're going to need that. We're just going to dive in. I, I actually did want to use some healing items there, but I fucked up, so we're here now. We're just going to embrace it. It looks different. It did evolve again. So Chrysalamon has obviously went up to his ultimate form. We did actually have a couple of these back in Hacker's Memory, I'm pretty sure. Did you evolved in and out of this dude. Now, I know what the final mega version of this guy is called, but I can't remember. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that the mega version of this guy is Diabramon, I think is the name. Kind of like Diablos, like the... Uh, is it the Spanish, Portuguese for devil? I I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that, but Diabramon, he is here. Sounds like Diablos... But anyway, this big ugly bastard looking um, pretty creepy, not going to lie. We're going to have to uh, obviously fucking dance with this guy. I don't know how it's going to go. We don't have a lot of healing items, guys, and honestly, I'm kind of anxious. I've, I've put myself in this position. Honestly, I've got nobody to blame but myself, but if anything, it adds a bit of excitement to the episode. So here we go. It might give us a serious fight this time. Better stay on our toes. So even Shoma's kind of giving us a bit of a, you know, you don't want to get your fucking ass beat off this guy. So hopefully we can get through this without too much trouble, but who knows? I'm kind of scared. This guy's level 45, but he is a Mega Digimon, I believe. He is not in his final, final form, luckily, but uh, yeah. The good thing about fighting this dude, now that I've, uh, now that we've just kind of begun the battle, is obviously that this guy does use that data move on us, and I really like, see this one here, guys? That is only a good thing when an enemy uses that, because the wind-up is so slow, I can get in, I can easily get a defensive command off ASAP, and uh, yeah, we can pretty much predict it happening, which is great. Now, that is that was an ultimate, right? Yeah, it was. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Holy moly, catastrophe cannon. There it is. So he shoots us from what looks like his belly button. Luckily, we do get our defense off in time. So I imagine that this guy is going to pop his ult off a couple of times. Now, the downside to all this defending that I'm doing with Seraphimon here is that he hasn't actually been able to attack. So if I could time a couple of these order commands properly and we get him up to his limit break, that would be great. Now, as it stands right now, we didn't get this defense off for this catastrophe cannon, so somebody's about to take it. Looks like... I don't know, that just didn't do a lot of damage. I don't know why. The, guy, the guys were just naturally defending. Seraphimon's going to take it again, so I'm just going to make sure that he defends. For whatever reason, this dude really doesn't like our, uh, our winged angel friend on the left here. I don't know why. He's, he seems kind of prejudiced in a, in a weird way, but... 
There's another Gigawatt laser. I'm trying to get Seraphimon up to his limit break. Um, I really should be... Let's just throw out a couple of super recoveries. So far, this fight looks like it's going quite smooth, guys. And I don't want to jinx it, obviously. But, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty, pretty clean so far. Obviously, as soon as I say that, he t instantly transforms us into virus mode. And then proceeds to ult us in the face. So, uh, maybe I should just shut my fucking mouth. Hopefully, um, what I'm going to do here is, in a second... Is that another one? Oh, <laughs> Alright, come on, man. <laughs> Gotta play fair. I know we've seen a lot of this recently, guys. A lot of these uh, kind of final bosses tend to just fucking one-trick pony their ultimate on you 24-7, which does seem a kind of bullshit. -y. But, uh, yeah, we actually have this. I was looking to do a double wombo combo, and just as I get the, the order commands to do it, the order points, uh, he's almost dead. So I'm just going to go ahead and Phoenix Fire this guy. Starlight Explosion. We're hopefully going to put him out of his misery, but obviously, yeah. The, f the first fight, almost non-existent. That fight, substantially more, um, substantially more harder. So, or substantially harder, I should say. English and stuff. We get 22k from this guy. Max stats across the board. Alright, what's not to like? Let's keep going. I'm just going to find out from Shoma what's about to happen. We get our victory music again here. But as I said, I don't think this guy is... <laughs> yeah. This guy's not in his final form yet. Alright, it got away. We almost had it there, says Shoma. Let's go after it. I mean, we're not going to give up now, right? If it managed to get out of a place like this, then we can assume it has made it to somewhere else. I think I know where it ran to. Let's head there. Now, this this is kind of cool. Now, obviously, we are at the, uh, the the end of Infinite Cauldron. And so, uh, yeah, it looks like the end of the line is here, right? So where is it that this motherfucker has ran to? Let's check the, the, the Gmail here. To the Dimensional District, says Shoma. The Dimensional District, you say? Where the fuck is that, Jack? Where the fuck is the Dimensional District? We're picking up his signal in the Dimension District. This time, you can defeat him. Make sure you're ready. So we'll take a little break from our action to uh, kind of enjoy some of the new uh, things that we've unlocked based on the fact that we have just... based on the fact that we've beat our men's story, right? I never showed you guys this at the end of the last episode because I was kind of pushed for time. The uh, finale was already long enough as it was, so I never got to actually show you guys this, but... Uh, Let's have a look. We're going to have a check out at what this Dimension District is, what it does, and anybody that we can find in there. But obviously, we do have some Digimon to talk to in the city and stuff like that, and these guys will also need to go to sleep soon as well. So, Digimon's going to tell us about Phoenix Mon, I believe. He's joined the city, he's went to the museum. Cool, we can check that out soon. And the Prosperity is now 125. Awesome. Now, as I said, it's going to be bedtime soon. Koromon isn't ready to give us items or any of that shit. I think we've already collect, uh, collected our meat from the day. I'm pretty sure I would have done that before the finale yesterday. But I'm just going to nip across here on the off chance and check that we actually have everything we need. Palmon, have you got anything for us? No. Okay, cool. So it is about to pop midnight. So before that happens, we're just going to quickly nip back to Jijimon's house. Rest up, pick up items, pick up meat. Maybe even visit the builder because I'm pretty sure there is actually an upgrade that is complete. If I go up here... Maybe we can actually proc it. It's not the entertainment district, but it's up to the right of the en entertainment district if we go up towards the lab area. So we're going to get a nice nighttime cinematic here, I believe. Or not cinematic, but you, you guys know what I'm talking about. That is our lab upgraded, I believe. I don't think it was anything else. Arrest the Dramon. <laughs> Just chilling between the uh, the buildings there. He was a, a topic for uh, from the chat yesterday. Pretty interesting. Filthy bastard days. Alright, cool. So it's bedtime, that's done. That means that when we go into the builder tomorrow, we can actually put on a fresh upgrade, which is kind of cool. So here we go. Jijimon's house. Let's go to sleep. We gain some uh, rest and stuff, and uh, actually check out some of our new recruits and pursue the end of this quest. So, yeah. Nice. Alright, time feed. Now, <laughs> I was thinking about this in a lot of detail, guys. We have a lot of food here. That we could be feeding these guys now. Macduff from the montage. Macduff decided that his favourite food was going to be the barbecue, which is a combination of ingredients from the cooking, uh, from the campsite, right? The cooking ability. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to actually just feed these guys a cheerful apple each and try and make them a little bit more cheerful because they are kind of grumpy right now because they're not getting barbecues. I've got barbecues at 6 a.m. It's kind of a you know I can respect that and stuff, but not not what you're not what you're going to want to eat on a regular basis. But whatever. We will, we will probably end up feeding these guys some barbecue stuff uh, later on if we do some camping. I think we have enough ingredients to do so and all that jazz. But really, because these guys are kind of... They're kind of at their... 
not they're obviously not max strength because they're, they're not even half as powerful as they could be but they're pretty strong and so i don't know if we need to waste potentially valuable resources on them if that makes sense so i'm gonna pick up a bunch of stuff here and i don't really want to talk to anybody else as much as we love these guys i think there was actually some uh a new Digimon that was meant to appear in here, but I honestly can't be sure. You'll notice at the back there, that little cave has opened, and there is actually a doorway there, or a doorway in that little spot. So that's uh, that's going to lead into what we're going to be doing in a minute. Let's go into the builder. In fact, yeah, okay, we'll have a look at the builder. There's something I do want to do in here. There's an upgrade that I want to put on specifically next, but we're missing just a couple of items, and that is the sender. Now, if I put myself down here, you guys should be able to see that we only need some red Digizoids. That is the upgrade that I want to put on next, and for the most part, we can't really do much else. We can actually put on this in the Dimensional District Space Time Transporter, and uh, down the bottom, that extends the duration of the Dungeon Time Limit. Now, again, if you guys have not, uh, if you've not, <laughs> you might not know what that means, but we're going to talk about it, and you guys are going to understand in not too long a time. So. Uh, I'm going to pop across to the business district. We're going to have a little bit of a chill sesh. Talk to any new Digibs because we should be able to find some in here. And then we will go up to the dimensional district. And you guys will see that in all its glory. So in here we actually do have a new Digimon. So I'm, I'm like thank fuck for that because I've been wandering around hoping that we bang into one of them. Here we go. We've got Magna, Magna Angemon here. Hey Wilfie, I can really use my powers here. I'm studying life. You might find this useful too. So let's see what he actually means from that now that we've got his little introductory line out of the way. Let me look into it. As for the training life for McRuff, there's not a lot left. Nothing to worry about. Um, okay, so wait a minute. That's a bit of a contrast. There's there's a lot left. Sorry, I thought that said there's not a lot left. And I was like, wait, if there's not a lot left, why would we not be worrying? We've, he was born yesterday. I mean, what? But uh, obviously, there's plenty of time left. As for the remaining life for McDuff, there's nothing to worry about either. So cool. Obviously, what the dude's telling us is, uh, obviously, Magnet Angemon's perk is that he can tell us how long it is that our Digimon have left. And so, if, if I guess, you were, if you lost track or whatever, and you were conscious that your Digimon might be passing away, he can kind of clarify some of that stuff for us. So, that's kind of cool. We've got uh, another uh, Angel slash Healing Digimon available to us. Let's have a look at some of our items here. And before I actually buy stuff, I'm going to change my mind real quick and go into the sale. Because we actually have so many... Uh, best meat that I think we could get rid of if I find it in our inventory our, bo our our backpack is a lot bigger than it used to be so finding things is a little bit trickier because we have so much shit on us but anyways best meat we have 95 of these I'm gonna go ahead and just fucking sell a lot of these I'm gonna go ahead and sell like 65 I don't even think we're gonna need the 30 we have left over but it is what it is we have a lot of well done meat as well we don't really have to mess about with any of this stuff too much cube meat is cool <laughs> you'll notice down in the bottom guys we are absolutely rich as fuck at this point we have 400k from all of our battles all of our finale battles and whatnot we have so much money but we're gonna we're gonna put that to good use i actually forgot to buy shit from the shop which is maybe but anyways here we have a new resident inside here so let's have a look at lady devimon here and when i say look at i mean obviously look at wares and when i say look at wares obviously i mean look at items a customer wolfie so happy to see you I, I'd be I'd be even happier if you bought something. That's a somewhat risky item, but it could be interesting. So let's see what it is the Lady Devimon actually has to offer us. Feeling like a purchase? Let's have a look. So here we can buy three items from Lady Devimon at present. Devil Chip A, Devil Chip D, and Devil Chip E, right? Increases strength and wisdom by 100, but decreases life by one day. So obviously, uh, and we have this one down here. These items are not actually too expensive. Uh, two and a half K is absolutely nothing. If you want some insta insta gratification stats and your Digimon are maybe on the way out, then you can basically trade your Digimon's life for sheer power. Bit of a sell your soul to the devil kind of deal. But obviously, as well as buffing up your Digimon, Lady Devimon's chips also have a fantastic ability to basically, um, it will allow you to control your Digimon's life cycles a little bit more. I've given out this clue a bunch on the Marine Angemon tip video that I made back in the day, that guide, if any of you guys saw that. Basically, Marine Angemon obviously lets you transfer life from one Digi to the other. Lady Devimon kind of lets you hard reset your Digimon, and so if we had a Digimon that was completely out of sync with its partner, let's say we had a Mega and a Baby, and we really needed the Mega to kind of die off so we could have two babies again, you kind of see where I'm going with this, you could feed that Digimon lots of chips, kind of push its life cycle towards the end, I know it sounds kind of rough, but uh, yeah, it's a thing you can do, it's up to you guys whether you decide. 
here in the uh, stock market we actually could buy some stuff here uh, bone ornaments are pretty cheap we have so much money at this point so let's just go ahead and fucking buy as many of these as we can we will end up selling these at some point later on anyway so it doesn't really matter lithographs we don't we don't need to sell our pots look like they might actually be going up in price because they went back to uh, white so i'm hoping they'll go red soon but regardless again we have so much money we don't really need to pay too much attention to this um, can I buy some more of these? I can. I didn't think that was going to let me do that. But anyways, we're locked in now. Stock market's not too exciting. I am going to quickly buy some items real quick. Uh, so apologies for going back in here. Just going to make this really, really, really quick. And we're going to buy some large recoveries. Or more specifically, super recoveries. Now, I don't, I don't want to slack off with this, guys. I don't want to set ourselves or leave ourselves short. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy a massive stack. That was a huge amount of money. But at the same time, don't really give a shit. We have tons of money at this point and I don't really care. Uh, plenty of regen discs uh, and plenty of large MP stuff as well. Alright, cool. Let's go and make our way up to the next area. Now, I don't think there is any new Digimon waiting for us in the research district. There might be some guys in the lab. I guess it's worth having a peek at. We can maybe do that later because I, I plan to get some more lab Digimon this episode. So maybe we can kind of kill two birds with one stone and visit that place later. Inside the museum, I guess we could kind of check in with Phoenix Mon and talk to her really, really quickly. She's in here in the corner. We also have this guy as well. We, we did pick up Omni Shape Mon first, so let's find out what he's up to. Hey, Wolf, are you looking good for me? I'm guessing this guy's got something to do with sound stuff or something. I made music, uh, a music hall for the museum. It's outrageous that there wasn't one until now. I can just see the amusement on uh, Demi or Devimon's face as like next to his classic works of art. This guy's setting up his DJ booth. All right, I, I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll just leave it to these guys to uh, come in agreement. Come anytime. Uh, let's see. So I guess if you're so inclined, you can come in here and play some music. I guess. What is this? Wow, that is actually really chill. All right, cool. I could get down with that. But apparently, as soon as you leave, the music resets to the default end, which was kind of sucks. Let's talk to Phoenix Mon here. I was looking for something beautiful, and then I realized it was here all along. Oh, Digicards, how beautiful. Having regained this lost beauty, I can show my appreciation to everyone. We need to work hard to re-establish the culture in this town. I'll do what I can with my abilities. So what does that mean exactly? Your Digimon card collection has over 100 cards. Here's your reward. And the, our mad bro here just gives us a mad fucking Digivolution item. Next goal is 200 cards when you've achieved that. Come to me for your reward. Uh, do we actually have that? No, we don't. I don't exactly know how many Digimon cards we have. Let's talk to uh, my oldest one. We have 124, so we're nowhere close to getting 200. But uh, anyways, I could take a quick peek at the Digimon cards, guys. But I'll honestly probably leave that for another time because we have other stuff to get down to. But uh, we'll maybe come back to that. I make no promises, but uh, I'll try my best. Let's have a look at the, at the item that we were just given here. Obviously, Phoenix Mon's Digivolution item. I mean, we've never had a Phoenix Mon. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's right there. He's right there. Cool. Grudemon, you got anything for us as well, boss? We might actually need something. Perfect. All right. Could have asked for a better item. I don't think well, there's probably better items in the game, but we'll take it. That's that's really, really good for us. And Namimon, we will chat in with you as well and pick up all your extra uh, chips and stuff. So there's, there is like extra Digimon in here. I think, guys, there's probably some dudes in the entertainment and up in the arena. I mean, let's just... Do this real, real quick. If there's no one in here, we'll just insta escape. Yeah, Piedmon, Monzimon, and uh, Nanimon, Tiagmon, blah, 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 blah. These guys are all good to go. I don't think there's anyone particularly exciting up here either. At the Coliseum, we've got Liam on here, I guess. He's always been there, right? He's been there for quite a while. Cool. Now we can get down to the uh, the the main the main course, if you like. Let's have a look down here, guys, because we have this new area. If I show you guys the map real quick, you'll see exactly what I mean. Top left, what on earth? So uh, for the longest time, that top left-hand part of the city was a complete barren cliffside. It was just, I think it was the waterfall maybe or something. It was just a craggy uh, crevice. Inside it, it looks like there's some sort of fucking mad bomb sitting in it or something. I don't know, this kind of tin shelter. We are going to go along and look into this place because this is the, 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 the Dimension District, folks. <laughs> Get a completion music. All right, cool. So, very, very interesting, this area. It looks very hard, very metal, kind of um, kind of futuristic -y, I guess. Definitely interesting. Down here, we have our little person in charge of the uh, of the Dimension District, or one of the people that's going to help guide us through and help us see what this function does, is Devimon. Now, we beat this guy inside the final dungeon. He was the first guy we fought against. And hopefully, he's going to tell us what the fuck's going on, because we have no idea what this place is. There you are. You're late. Showman and the others have already left. Shoot, it seems Diabramon got in when I 
uh, when I should have been able to prevent it. Okay, Diablomon easily broke through the dimension pathways and went all the way inside. Go after him, the portal should still be open. Uh, sure, okay, I'm in. Yeah, we're not gonna, um, as I said earlier, we're not gonna turn back at this point. So here we are. And uh, yeah, we've got another kind of infinite cauldron kind of theme going on, guys. It's very much like the uh, the dungeon, the final dungeon. We've got the tiles, we've got the virtual reality background, we've got the circuitry boards going on, and uh, this new addition of a clock up the top, which looks like it's going to be counting down, right? Let's find out what Shoma's saying. Wolfie, you came here, I've been waiting on you. This place may look like Infinite Cauldron, we just said that, but it seems we're in a different dimension. There are limits to how long you can be here, plus you can't make any records. So when he says that, what he means is you can't save your game. Very interesting because I didn't save before I came in here, so uh, yeah, feels bad, man. It seems like a pretty nasty place. We'll have to be careful. The one we are after is farther inside. I don't know what kind of enemies we'll face on the way, though. Each area isn't that big. Let's split up so we don't get in each other's way. All right, see you up ahead. And just like that, we are now on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. So get a little warning from the game, just in case you were clicking through that. You can't save your game here, and obviously we are on a timer. So we don't have to make any wild decisions in this first area. We can only go forward, so let's do it. 50-50, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, quick thinking, a lot of quick talking here guys because we are on the clock but honestly we should be able to kind of cruise through this. The reason I've took a right turn here is just to kind of show you guys what's in this kind of pathway. It is actually a dead end unfortunately. So in Dimension Memory 8 here, or I don't know what that says, Dimension 4, we have a lot of Kermon in here but also a dead end. There's nothing there for us just now. Now unfortunately, this uh, when you're travelling back through some of these places that you've been through or the, the path we've just came, the camera's actually kind of inverted. So obviously this to our left here, that's the way we came in. So you've kind of got to keep an eye on that. We're going to take this path which was the left path and now this is all brand new. So we've got, we have a ton of Chrysalamon here that I would honestly love to be able to like run past if I could. Don't know if that's going to be a thing. Unfortunately it's not. I could have tried to make a beeline through the middle of the scrim line there, but uh, yeah, first battle of this area. Luckily we only have to end up fighting three of these guys because they are quite powerful and you do have to kind of be careful. As you can see, and without me kind of telling you guys about it, the clock is still counting down in the center of the screen. So you are still on the t you're still on the timer here guys, you don't get to take your foot off the gas. Getting in battles is kind of, uh, kind of problematic and if you don't deal with it quick, quick enough then you're going to end up regretting it. So. I'm just going to keep these guys topped up. I don't really need to be using too many recoveries because honestly we should get through this fight pretty easily but as you can see we are taking a bit of damage. I'm just going to make sure that our guys are in top tip, tippy top condition and that we don't uh, we don't lose anyone because honestly that's just going to slow us down and I don't really want that to happen so hopefully we can take out some of these guys here. A couple left and then I think that once this fight is finished we should be able to actually uh, we should I don't know does this animation does the ultimate animation count down the timer? It does. That might have been a mistake. I've just lost. All right. When the game does this to me, this is kind of unfair. The game's bugging out. They should be using their limit breaks right now, but uh... oh well, that feels really bad. You guys saw me clip my limit break there, right? If you go into your limit break anim animation, your ultimate ability, then apparently the timer still counts down. We didn't even end up using our abilities, but anyways, what we're saying was back to the action. When we get out of this fight, I should be able to dodge past the remaining guys that are here. These dudes over on the on the right hand side. We're just going to carry on. Three minutes we've got. Three minutes. Empty room here. Memory six. So we do have a bit of a, a jumbled number sequence coming up on the on the left hand side there. Memory seven. Now here, we don't have to talk to this person, 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 person. We don't have to talk to this Digimon, but I'm going to go. I'm going to talk to them to show you what this guy does. Obviously, Mastermon, extremely, extremely cool Digimon. Uh, uh, so good in hacker's memory. I think it was, did we have in Cyber Slid as well? I don't fucking know, but Mastermon, absolute beast. What happens here is, inside the Dimension District, if you bang into Mastermon, they will increase your time, but at a cost. Check this out. 120 seconds restored, alright, great, so we're up to 4 minutes, 52 seconds. But, our partner's HP and MP was stolen. Now, uh, if you guys look at the health bars down the bottom, you will see that actually, <laughs> Mastermon kind of fucks you up. Like, she's, she or he... I think it's a she. She doesn't actually like mess around. We're down to 463 HP, which is honestly kind of harsh. We're going to top these guys back up though uh, with two super recoveries and we're also going to top up their MP as well. I really should be using the, the MP, the medium MPs here, just uh, while we're in the pause screen. So forgive me for the spam. And uh, yeah, we're going to move on. Again, didn't have to do that guys. I think we had enough time, but I wanted to kind of show you, just so you know. And uh, yeah, this is cool. 
I actually forgot all about this. We can actually harvest materials inside the Dimension District and check this out, guys. Boom. Three red Digizoids, three black Digizoids, and one blue. So if you do come in here to harvest resources, it's so much more efficient than if you are uh, wandering around the world. Again, one Digi Ruby, one Digi Diamond, three Emeralds. Really, really good. I think those red uh, Digi Rubies or red Digizoids or whatever it was, that's actually the ones we needed to upgrade Burger Transport. I think so. We should be good for that now. Go four and a half minutes. Let's talk to Shoma. What's up, dude? It's back there. Noir and I can't beat it alone. Are you ready, Wilfie? Let's go. All right, Noir, do you say anything? It's innocent yet threatening at the same time. I think it's it's final form. All right, I hope so. Let's uh, dive in here and see if we can uh, find Diabramon. Looks like Diabramon has now changed into an Armageddon, I believe is the name of this Digimon. Found it. Digivolved again, but this time, or this is the last time. So Armageddon's in here chilling, looking a bit uh, monstrous. The only reason I remember Armageddon's name is because of this particular quest and also because he ended up in the Smasher Pass video back in the day. And not a, not an incredibly attractive Digimon, but one that is very, very strong and one that we cannot uh, kind of take our foot off the gas when we're fighting against because he'll mess us up. It called in for reinforcements as powers too. I'll take on the reinforcements to show you go after that thing. So I don't know why we always get the, the shitty coin toss, the, the short straw, if you like. But obviously, Shoma kind of respects us. He thinks we're going to be able to handle it. Let's see how we get on against this big guy. Now, obviously, hmm, he's not messing around. This ability that we're seeing right now, guys, this massive blue screen that's taking up all of our uh, all of our screen, is DG Dimension V3, guys. The strongest machine type ability in the game. As you can see already, Armageddon is not fucking around. We, uh, Seraphmon gets insta one hit, so we will probably going to be EXEing for this fight guys, even if it is just to make the fight go a little bit smoother. I'm going to be spamming our order commands as much as possible in an attempt to try and get these guys up to their uh, final form as soon as, as soon as I can. I don't want to be hit by too many of these abilities. When you do get actually, when this ability is used on you, um, the dimension ability where the screen goes blue you actually lose control of all of your uh, your items and things like that so you're kind of just left to your own devices i'm going to tell seraphimon to um, defend here and i'm going to use a super recovery on him otherwise he is going to get killed again i don't know yeah so seraphimon blocks that which is good again all of your health bars and that disappear as well guys so it's a pretty pretty tough ability to deal with in all honesty Hopefully we can survive just a little bit longer in order to get to our limit breaks. I'm going to be watching Phoenixmon here. Trying to get her points up just a little bit more. And probably toss out some large recoveries just to keep us kind of sustained. Wow. Wow. So much damage. It's actually terrifying. So Nightmare is really strong on Seraphimon, obviously. This looks like it's going to hurt. And honestly, I don't want to be defending, but... Okay, Gigawatt Laser does a lot of damage. Plenty of inventory management going on here, guys. I'm hoping that if we... Uh, Time this magma bomb correctly, we do actually unlock ESC, which we're going to go ahead and use just to try and make this fight go a little bit uh, smoother, because I was doing a lot of uh, jib-jab in there, but my brain was trying to do two things at once, and when it does two things at once, bad things tend to happen, so here we go. I'm going to EXE here, you guys have kind of seen this, but if you haven't, uh, if you didn't watch the finale, then this is our EXE Digivolution between Phoenixmon and Seraphimon. When this happened... In the finale, I, I kind of knew what was coming because I'd kind of like I'd researched it like after we got our two ultimate or our two megas, so I knew who this guy was going to be before we saw him. And I don't know how I feel. I mean, Imperial Jamon is an absolute badass, right? He's he's pretty fucking sick, but uh, he's not my, my not my first choice. So I don't know. I don't know. He's he's all right. He's like a seven out of ten, we'll say. But uh, anyways. We're going to try and beat this guy. We have three three minutes and ten seconds left, so I'm going to just try and uh, put him away as quickly as I can. I did want to get more stuff done in this episode, guys, in this bonus ep, so maybe we'll try and cram some of that shit in at the end. But uh, for the most part, Armageddon and all this uh, Shoma business is taking up a lot of our time. We did have a lot of uh, kind of chit-chatting as well, so uh, it is to be forgiven. Three minutes on the clock. Let's see if we can get this guy down a little bit more. I would love to be able to get some abilities off before we get kicked about too much. And yeah, hopefully we can beat this guy. If he obviously, I don't know, when he uses his limit break, I think we actually lose time and shit like that. So uh, yeah, we do have Burning Heart, so if we can get up to 175, we should be able to finish this guy off. So if I can just concentrate a little bit more. Armageddon looks like he's chilling. There's Dimension, whatever his fucking face is, DG Dimension V3. It's a bit of a, mouse, a mouthful, but uh, 
going to use it on us again. Unfortunately, we do go into this kind of pixelated form. That's his limit break, which I, I just can't defend it, guys. I can't defend it. I'm going to throw a super recovery. <laughs> because I'm in pixel mode, I can't use my defensive key. So, uh, yeah, all my flares used on us again. This guy. These, these bosses and their cheese, honestly, kind of BS. I could use a, 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 one of our items to come out of this, but I don't think we need to. Going to use Burning Heart. And then once I get control, we're just going to use our ultimate. And I think we should have this guy down and out. Should be enough. If we don't kill him with this, we'll kill him with our next attack. One more Magma Bomb maybe will be all that's needed. But, alright. Didn't even require it. Whew. Alright. Armageddon Dunzo. Another one bites the dust. Max stats. 27.5k. 150 team rec speed. I would love to learn DG Dimension from this guy, uh, but it is quite rare that we pick it up. If we pick it up now, it means we don't have to pursue it later. So we'll find out. Can we get lucky? Okay. All right. We pick up Evil Squall, right? <laughs> All right. So Evil Squall is actually the strongest dark ability in the game. So I didn't even know that we could get this from this dude. Or, or if I did know that, I'd forgotten about it. Evil Squall picked up. All right. So even if we don't get DG Dimension, we'll take that. That is absolutely fine. Cool. Happy days. Evil Squall acquired. Now, as as you play through the main story, I think you can actually get Evil Squall from a Mega Monzoort D. Obviously, we never got it at those points, so we pick up now. Whoa, you're really amazing. Nothing in this world could beat you, I'm guessing, says Shoma. Armageddon's just lying KO'd in the background there. Absolutely fucked. Shoma says, after a pause, Wolfie, I'll look after Noir. This will be my way to give back to the digital world. Could you fight with me once more? I have a challenge for you. Now, when you read this for the first time, you might be thinking, fuck, does Shoma want to fight again right now at this moment in time? And a couple of you guys might have broken a sweat when that happened. Like, oh shit, we just uh, EXE'd. How are we going to fight Shoma now? But luckily, uh, we don't actually have to fight Shoma right now. So, bit of a spoiler there, but you're going to find out in a second anyway. Shoma says, when I was in fifth grade, there was a decision that I passed on, but, but now I'm ready. So Shoma's still got this kind of rivalry with us, wants to tangle with us at some point again in the future. When the time comes, I'll be ready, he says. Alright Shoma, you do that buddy. Go prep yourself. And uh, I think we can get back to the city. Let's have a look at our Digimail. Now what I kind of feel is, uh, oh, okay, so Shin Greymon. We'll have a look at that in a little bit more. Shoma, I don't think he's got anything else to say as we'll look. We'll have a look at the other Digimail in a second, but let's take the portal out. Materials collected. And now we might have a Digimail from Shoma. Yeah, he is. Thank you. We would have never defeated him without you. You never failed to impress. But you've always been the strong one. Thank you, Wolfie. I don't know why he adds these kind of weird things. You wouldn't say that in a text to, like, unless you really knew the person well. I don't think you would acknowledge that they were your rival. It's kind of strange. But anyways, we're going to take it with a bit of a... Uh, we're going to take Shoma and his gratitude and be happy for him. If the guy's not up to any mischief, that's great. Now, what basically happens here, guys, is now that we've done this kind of show my post game stuff, you're kind of just left to your own volition, all right? You can kind of do you left to your own free will. The game kind of, as soon as you finish the main story, it kind of grabs you and it's like, here's Shoma, here's his quest, go do that. But now that we've, now that you've done that, you can kind of just go about and do what it, whatever it is you want. You don't get like another meeting with Digimon, you don't get another meeting with Shoma or Mami or anybody saying, right, we want you to go out and correct, collect the, the rest of the residents. You're just kind of left to your own devices. So uh, yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit more in the future. But anyways, we have an email here from Shane Graymon. Let's see what this guy's up to. My body is fully healed, he says. I'm sorry I made you wait, but now I can finally fulfill my promise. I will move to the town and help you. I can't wait to see you again. All right. Sounds like a, a nice thing to say. Let's pop down to Digimon's house and chat to Digimon because he's going to tell us uh, about these new residents really, really quickly. Then I think we'll nip across to the builder as well. He is here. Digimon, what's up, dude? Tell us about the new guys. Diabramon has joined the city. Or has he? So you get this fucking weird... I don't know, Diabramon, this big evil Digimon, I guess he's just misunderstood. He was probably just looking for a group of friends, although looking like he did. Apparently he's here in the Dimension District and he's going to hang out there, which is cool. We'll have a look at that later on. And Shine Greymon's here as well. Finally, turns up. I like how he waits till all the commotion and all the endgame battles have finished and then he fucking appears. Typical. Anyways, he went to the Dimension District. Also, there's something going on there with the other dimensions. Six Prosperity is now at 129. Sick. Okay, so what you will find, guys, is this Dimension District. Uh, a lot of the Digimon that we are now going to recruit in our post game, here's Shoma just chilling uh, on the main street, which is kind of cool. A lot of these Digimon that we now recruit will end up in the uh, Dimension District, and we are going to be able to kind of, once they join the city, they'll sit there, and then we can interact with them if we so choose to. So uh, let's do a real Liquid Hulk. 
real liquid hunt because I'm desperate for Digileon water at this point. I think we should be able to upgrade Burger Transport, right? Sender, excellent. So this is going to be absolutely imperative that we grab this uh, for all of our post-game stuff. We are going to be doing so much traveling, so much flying about, and if we can save a bit of money and get to places faster by potentially unlocking new areas, then that is great. So fantastic upgrade to get on there. Absolutely superb. As I said earlier, guys, this, this episode is pushing on a lot longer than I thought. I thought we were going to be able to do some other stuff. Um, so what I will do is, rather than just kind of leave you guys high and dry here, I will talk to our little friend inside Digimon's hut here. I always forget their name, but Bottomon here is going to tell us all about the other Digimon that we can now recruit now that we've done our final dungeon and our Shoma quest, okay? So let's uh, let's find out who we've got to be, who we're going to be kind of jamming with in the next few bonus episodes. So... Bancho Leomon says that a dragon-like mechanical Digimon is at Mod Cape. Maybe you should go and see it. So we've got a dragon mechanical Digimon down in Mod Cape we need to chat to. Interesting. There's another Digimon conducting research on a ship in Mod Cape. I wonder what he's researching. So I think that is the the Aero Vedramon that's on the the pirate ship. He was he's been there the whole game. He's not a new addition. He's just been he was kind of part of the furniture. He because we can now interact with him. He is now available to speak to. Apparently there's a really flashy Digimon in a house in Bonnie Resort. Seems like that Digimon could be rich. All right, and when the grade of the city buildings increase, more Digimon will appear. Cool. So for the time being, Bottomon gives us a couple of uh, targets. <laughs> targets. A couple of Digimon that we can target, beat up, and then recruit. So that's kind of interesting. I do have a kind of a schedule for who we're going to be. Where's our bird? Uh, hello, Phoenix man. Come on, come on, get get around the uh, the main square. We're going to chat to the guys here. So, we ha I do have a, a plan, a list of Digimon that I want to pick up over the next few episodes, guys. I'm going to try and do it a bit more streamlined. The Today's first, the first bonus episode, this episode that you guys are just finishing just now, was a little bit jam-packed with the Shoma stuff, so I'm kind of... I thought we could get through that a lot quicker, but I guess there was a, a, a lot of uh, catching up with you guys, a lot of travelling inside Infinite Cauldron and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We're going to be able to nip round a lot of these Digimons over the, the next few bonus episodes. I'm hoping that we can just, you know, snap to them a lot faster. Faster. I might even do some more time skips in order to save time and make things go a little bit more smoothly for you guys But uh, yeah, that's that is what it is. There's a couple of Digimon that I'm really looking forward to encounter There's some that I never even managed to successfully recruit in my first ever and last ever playthrough of this game So there's going to be a couple of new surprises up ahead for me as well And I'm kind of excited for that. It's kind of cool. But uh, anyways, yeah That's us guys. Next bonus episode will be out um, pretty soon I hope you guys uh, enjoy it when it comes around. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I really want to thank everybody who uh, visited during the finale again as well. I've said that a bunch already. I don't mean to keep going on. But if you missed that, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Thanks for all your comments. I'm getting some of these just now as uh, as the days go on and the upload sits up there for a few for a few days. You guys are commenting more and more. So I'm picking up a lot more of those as I go. Thank you very much. You guys are amazing. Love you guys lots. I'll see you very, very soon in our next episode. And uh, yeah, take care until then. Bye-bye.